Good morning, everyone. This morning, we are going to discuss about an educational subject, my favorite subject. This subject is given by Edward Bono, the defining psychologist of this century. He has actually said that education levels are altogether three. Three levels of education, alpha level, beta level, and the theta level. In alpha level, we can always put in a Western education. Beta level is India and the China level. Theta level is Bangladesh, Pakistan, African nation, most of them, and most of the Latin American nations, which are, we can, another way we can actually describe it is that Third world nations have theta level of education. Second world nation, means developing nations have beta level of education and developed nations like America, Canada, Europe, Australia, Switzerland, New Zealand, Australia have alpha level of education. Level of education and the level of economy both are symbiotic. They both are hand in glove, they both are connected and linked with each other. American President JFK, John Fitzgerald Kennedy has said, the level of your national economy cannot be shifted. Or he has said, the progress of your nation cannot be shifted than the progress in your education. If education progress is at the rate of 10%, then your National progress will also be 10%. So both are symbiotic. Here, we are going to elaborate one point at a time, and the point number one is alpha level education. Occidental education means Europe, America, Australia, Canada, their education is alpha level education. The students are also Malfoy. Malfoy means a genius very assiduous, very diligent, back-breaking and gut-wrenching students. They are wedded to assiduity and challenges. They love assiduity, they love working hard, so that when they go to bed at night time, they fall asleep fast, and they are satisfied that I did not lose my day, but I used my day. They accept challenges, they love to accept challenges. If there's nothing challenging in their life, they see the life is a long drag. Link and the long life. Link and the long life is there is no challenge. But if there is a challenge, the challenge can actually build their character. They learn more from the challenges. That kind of education actually is available in Occidental society of US, Canada, Europe, Australia, Switzerland, New Zealand, etc. Point number two is better level of education. Better level of education is found in China, India, some of the, I mean, if you go into the Far East, like Hong Kong, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, if you go to Africa, South Africa, and a couple of nations in Latin America, like Brazil, etc. In better level of education, students are moderate, uh, moderate Malfoy. They're moderately assiduous, moderately genius. They're moderately diligent, moderately aspirant. They want every single thing, but they don't want to give every single thing to their goal. They are aspirant, but with negligence. They aspire the stars, moons, but they don't have that kind of propelling propulsion or propeller to propel them to the moon or star. They are cradling the dream, but neither to achieve it. They have dream. They are full of dream. Their bosom has lots of dream to achieve, but they little deter. They are afraid of getting those dreams. They are afraid of working that hard from can to can't from daybreak to nightfall. They don't want to spend every ounce of energy or every joule of energy that they have uh, right behind or right after their goal. 
Number three is theta level of education, dumpy education, absolutely despicable education, shameful education that we find in most of the African nations, Latin American nations, in a, most of the Asian nations also, bearing Japan, China, India. All other nations in Asia, bearing South Africa, all other nations in Africa, bearing a couple of nations like Argentina and a couple of other nations in Latin America, all other nations' education is theta level education, where you find the students are all flops, failures, and flunked funkies. They don't have any kind of interest in education. They attend the school just because they don't have anything to do. They attend colleges just for he, how, kiki, culture, single mingle, just to have fun and fun do. Their motive is not education. They abhor education desperately. They disdain education desperately. They are lazy type. They are slow like a pig. They are piggy, edu- piggy students who have no quality of malfoy. Genius and hardworking students are known as Malfoy. They don't have those qualities at all. They are all funkies. Education for them is a nightmare. They get up only in the morning on Monday to Friday, and they will have a butterfly in their stomach that again we have to go to school. Again we have to go to college and to tuition. Again we have to spend time in the school. But Saturday and Sunday they are absolutely relax like a wandering dog because Saturday Sunday they would be wandering around like a wandering canine. They have they are complacent oblivious. They are all ignorant. And they are complacent, they are satisfied ignorance. They don't have any kind of shame. No scruple of embarrassment that they have for their oblivion. And they are happy in hell. Whatever the condition they are, they are happy. They are happy as ignorant. They are happy as poor. They are happy as idiots. They are happy as sluggish. They are happy as absolutely lethargic. They are happy as pig. So these are the three levels of education, alpha level, beta level, and theta level, given to us by absolutely genius psychologist Edward V. Bauno. Thank you very much for listening. God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.